I would really like to go back to vlogging. Um, but every single time I want to vlog, I'm doing something boring. Um, so I'm just going to record myself doing those boring things and then put something together. So, uh, this is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> like I said, it's not really, it's, it's just boring. So I put white paint and blue paint on here and I'm moving it around until I get some sort of like sky. Um, because I went outside this morning with Alfred to take him to potty and I looked up at the sky and the blue and the white the clouds in the sky look so beautiful so I wanted to paint that and I don't have any more canvases so I'm using the back of canvases that I've already used because I can't paint the walls in my apartment <laughs> I'm too scared to Okay, I'm gonna get some of my hollow paint and just go along lines. Kind of like do something to make it like marble. And I use this to like make it uh, even. It's doing this little, you're probably not gonna be able to see it. My camera, my camera has started to be really blurry and I don't know why. Um, it's okay. I was gonna do gold, but I have this green and it's hollow. So I think that's what I'm going to use. I really like blue and green together. It's really pretty. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, this is my favorite artist. Her name is Josephine Wall. Um, the name of the book is Celestial Art. And let me show you some of my favorite pieces. Actually, I'll just show you some pieces from the book because um, I love all of her pieces. I don't know if I have a favorite. <laughs> her pieces are so magical. There's color everywhere. I really love her artwork because there's like stars and colors, flowers fairies, people, nature, it's just all of these beautiful little elements that are very catching to your eye. The lighter colors like draw you in and then the darker background. I just love her art so much. It's so beautiful. Um, here's another piece that I really love that I'm using as inspiration for one of my current pieces. I love that her hair is red, but there's all these colors intertwined. And I love the little mushrooms with the faces. I feel like I definitely draw a lot of inspiration from her artwork. I would like to start practicing more realistic pieces so that I can um, branch out with my artwork. I feel like it would be very beneficial to me. I am enjoying being in a place to stay where I can move around a lot, um, but I really miss the forest. <laughs> I'm trying not to get down about it, but like I just really miss being able to 
run across the field and get fresh air. I feel like I'm stuck. I don't know. Since I can't be in the forest, <laughs> I painted myself in the forest. <laughs> we are there. I'm really excited because it's starting to feel like fall outside and that is my favorite time of year. I love it when things start to cool off and I can put on a sweater without sweating. <laughs> um, and everything is just very cozy. You know, you get to keep the inside of your house warm and it's just it feels so nice. I have little fall decorations everywhere and little pumpkins and my Halloween things are up. I know it's only September, but September, October. I can celebrate for two months. <laughs> I can do that, that's fine. People celebrate Christmas in summer, so I'm good. 